Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. This is a question and answer video. I asked you guys for some questions on Twitter and I'm going to answer them. Finn is not because he doesn't speak English and he doesn't like being on camera. He's camera shy, so that's fine. What's the special occasion you ask? Well, it is my 27th birthday. I was born on October 16th, 1990. Hashtag 90s kid. So for my 27th birthday, I thought it would be cool if I answered 27 questions, starting with this one. How big is it? Ooh, starting with a personal question. Now, this isn't something I would normally share on YouTube, especially in 2017. It has become a very family-friendly website. However, I have such a loyal fan base, and I want to share everything with you guys, every part of my life, including what's down there. So, get all the young kids out of the room. We are going to be sharing with you how big it is right now. And here it is. It looks like it is the number one movie in America currently. Get a load of that foreign total added to the domestic total too. Over $600 million worldwide. Number one horror film of all time. That almost makes up for the fact that I have a small penis. How's your day been so far? It's been pretty good. I woke up late, slept in a little bit, had some eggs, hung out with Finn. Megan's at work all day, but she's going to come home and she's going to make tacos. And we're going to watch one of a couple of shows that we're interested in. We're catching up on some old shows that we've missed out on, and we want to watch Mindhunter, the new show on Netflix from David Fincher. We want to watch Mr. Robot Season 3, which has already started, and Stranger Things Season 2 comes out in a couple of weeks. So there's a ton of shows to watch, but Tacos, Shows with Megan, streaming today, I've been streaming a lot. That's all the things I'm interested in. If I could quickly show you my birthday gifts, I have two of them on hand right now. You already saw one of them when I, actually, you probably didn't see them when I stood up. Uh, you can't even see them at all. I'm not wearing pants. What's up? Camo joggers. I can walk outside with no pants. You guys can't see them. Get it? The joke because they're camo. But also, I have, oh God, sad Pepe socks. The alt-right can't take Pepe from me. He's not a hate symbol, he's just sad. What is your biggest regret? I don't feel I have any personal regrets in life. I have been extremely lucky. I have an awesome family, an awesome wife, an awesome job. Really nothing to complain about. In terms of financial regrets, would have been really smart to invest in Bitcoin in 2010. You know, your boy wouldn't be on YouTube anymore, I'll tell you that much, I might own YouTube. Buy $1,000 worth of Bitcoin in 2010. I have seven islands right now. But, I mean, there's other business decisions I've made on YouTube that weren't smart. I've also made some smart ones, so you win some, you lose some. Really no regrets. What is your favorite game to play right now, and what games are you looking forward to coming out? I guess my favorite game to play right now is PUBG. It's what I stream the most, Player Knows Battlegrounds. I have been playing through Resident Evil 7, and I've really enjoyed that game so far. I am looking forward to Red Dead Redemption 2 above all else. Red Dead Redemption is my favorite game of all time, so obviously I'm super hyped for the sequel. And I'm hoping for Borderlands 3 before the end of next year because I am a huge fan of the Borderlands series. Those are the three main things. Wait, did I just. Two main things I'm interested in Red Dead and Borderlands. I can't add. Okay, next question. What's the major differences in your production of a video from when you first started to now? I feel I'm better at editing, which makes sense when you have six years of trial and error. I don't feel like I'm a professional level, but I understand certain things about how to edit on YouTube and what content I would deem as entertaining. I am more politically correct than I have been in the past, a personal choice as well as a professional choice. And what else? All my videos almost are over 10 minutes because that's what makes a lot of revenue on YouTube in 2017. Just a few examples. I think those are the most important things that have changed. If you could have any game remastered so you could play it with better graphics, which game would it be? This was one of my favorite questions. I thought about this for a while. I think my answer would have to be Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Loved that game back in the day. It would be really cool to see it with updated graphics and especially with how beautiful Star Wars Battlefront 2 looks to play that game with updated graphics would be amazing. As a secondary answer, I would also throw GTA San Andreas in that mix, a game with an awesome story and a cool soundtrack. Not the most visually appealing game. With updated graphics, I think that game would be amazing. So my two answers would be Knights of the Old Republic and San Andreas. Awkward or defining moments in your life or just defining moments? One that comes to mind in recent history, when I proposed to Megan in 2014, I proposed to her in the same building that we had our first date. It's the Amway Grand Hotel in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Lovely building. Our first date was at a restaurant that was on the first floor. It wasn't the nicest restaurant, but it's in this grand upscale hotel. So I wanted to impress her with what little money I had by taking her to this hotel for our first date. So 
whatever it is, five years later, we're going to get engaged. Well, she doesn't know that, but I do. And I book this room at the top floor of the Amway Grand Hotel, set it up so there's a bunch of roses on the bed and the room's all decorated and all this stuff. I didn't want to do a big public engagement because I'm awkward. And speaking of awkward, so is the bellhop who insisted on taking our bags up to the room. I don't know if you guys have ever been at a hotel where there's bellhops who are insistent on taking your bags up to your room because if they do that, they get a tip and I don't know what else they're doing during their time at the hotel. They are just there to grab bags and take them to various locations. That's what they do. No hate on them. That's their hustle. I didn't want them to take the bags up to my room. This guy in particular because he was very talky and I was very nervous because Megan was going to open the door and see that something was going on. It's not like it was Valentine's today she was gonna know something was up so this guy comes up opens the door for us sees everything that's going on and he's like oh wow this must be a special weekend what do you guys have planned and Megan turned to me like I don't know what do we have planned and I was like bellhop get the fuck out of the room and I just made up some stuff and he was weird and he, I gave him a, like two dollars I should have given him no money because it ruined my whole flow of the the day but I proposed to Megan and I'm sure she doesn't even remember that awkwardness but I do because I was nervous the whole elevator ride up and he was talking to us about his new fish he got or whatever random bullshit in his life. That was too long. Let's move on to the next question. Coke or Pepsi? I prefer Coke, but I haven't drank pop for most of 2017. I gave it up in the spring and it's been great for my health. In general, I've been trying to have less sugar in my diet and I like that. It's also called pop. I just want to clarify that. Not soda. It's fucking pop. Possible meetups, I'm sure many of us would love to meet you. I feel like I should have done a lot more when I was really popping in terms of subscribers back in the day. I know if I did meetups now, people would still want to meet me. I'm very lucky to have the success I've had on YouTube and the numbers are large, I understand that. Maybe if I get that social blade popping once again, popping up, I don't know what this is, but that's what the social blade does when it's going well. I would consider some meetups in coordination with other things I'm doing, maybe a podcast or whatever, but I appreciate the comment and you encouraging me to do that. Ever used Nair on your downstairs situation? No. I wish there was waxing for men, and I think there is in big cities, but that's what girls can do. They can go to the salon and just get the stuff waxed up. I know there's laser hair removal. I know people that have done that. That's an option. I don't like maintaining that area, but I also don't like it to be super hairy. Nair sounds scary, though. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it sounds scary to put this chemical on your testicles and around that area where it removes the hair and it creates a burning sensation in some cases. I, I don't want to mess with that, but I wish there was a magical way to remove the hair. This is weird. What's the next question? Why don't you play with the crew anymore? Play with them instead of your cat. I have been taking a break from playing with my friends because I have played with my friends for six years and each of us have periodically taken breaks from playing with each other for sanity reasons and for creative reasons for me right now. I just don't have anything that I want to play with them. The only thing that really suffers when I don't play with my friends on my channel is shit from last week, which is arguably my best content. However, there's so many other things that I want to do as an individual. I am just willing to give up that series for a month until World War II comes out or whatever. So I'm obviously going to play with my friends again. It helps my sleep schedule and my need to play games solo and create as a solo creator to not play with them as a reasoning for you not seeing as much of them on my channel in the past month or two. What has been your most favorite in real life memory with the crew? I think the easy and expected answer, maybe even an answer I've given in the past to this question would be when they came to my wedding because it was the most that all of my friends have been together, the most number of my friends that have been together in one area at one time. But honestly, the answer for me is probably when myself, Jehovah Speedy and Jordan went to England together because it was my first time in another country. It was really cool to experience a different culture. And I think it was a few of their first times as well. And when they came to my wedding, it was awesome, but I didn't get to spend a ton of time with them because I was preparing for the wedding, I had a rehearsal dinner and obviously had to get married, you know, <laughs> big part of a wedding is getting married. So I didn't get to spend as much time with them. It's probably 1A and 1B, I like both of them, but yeah, England was really cool. Liquid versus foam hand soap. Foam hand soap all day. That's one of the greatest inventions of the 2000s. And if you're still on that liquid hand soap, you're basic. 
Just lost a bunch of subs who use liquid hand soap. Happy birthday, what's your take on Twitch versus YouTube when it comes to time commitment slash difficulty? This is a question I think about a lot lately because I've been trying to split my time between Twitch and YouTube. I've been putting more time into YouTube because I feel I get more out of YouTube. And I like that on YouTube, I can control how much I earn in a sense, just by how much I upload and the type of content I upload, I kind of know what's gonna happen, but sometimes you'll have random months like April 2017 when it all comes crashing down. That happens in the business and sales world as well. On Twitch, you're mostly relying on the charity and kindness of other people, which is great, but I don't know, it just doesn't give me the most security. In terms of time, I think you could put equal time into both of them because a lot of the people who are really big on Twitch stream for many hours a day and YouTube can take many hours a day depending on how much you like to edit. I've been trying to split my time between both of them and it's made me happy. Uh, lately. If you could go back in time to change one thing but can only tell your younger self, what will it be? There's going to be this thing in 2010 called Bitcoin. Invest a lot of money into it. Literally all the money you have. The serious answer would be to commit as much time and energy as possible to sports in high school because it's hard to find something like that outside of high school. It's not the same without the crowd and the energy and playing with your friends. I regret not enjoying practices more. I would pay a large amounts of money to even just go to a practice again. I've said that multiple times on my channel, but that's the one thing I think about. It's hard to get the feeling of high school sports back. Make a video of you listening to the adolescent music phases you grew up with or a reaction to old social media posts. I would like to do the first one. I would be worried about copyright infringement. It would be really cool to listen to some 2000 to 2009 alternative music. Some of the music I listened to most in high school. A lot of people associate me with hip hop slash rap, which is something I like. I mean, I guess they associate me with that because I make those types of videos on my channels. And I do like that genre of music a lot, but I really loved alternative music more than rap in high school. I liked Kanye West and Eminem and all that stuff, but alternative music really hits me in the feels. In terms of old social media posts, uh, that shit should stay in the past. I, I can react to some of them, maybe. I don't know. That it, I feel like I would get a very strong cringe from that. So I don't know about that second one. Why can't Michigan fix its roads? Thank you. This is what I ask. I had sidearms come visit me and we're driving down the road and he's like, why are we bouncing up and down? Is this normal? Michigan is a state that has state taxes. Not all states have state taxes. I recently visited Tennessee, no state taxes there and their roads are great. I will say, a lot of the roads have been fixed around me lately, so maybe it's getting better and it's just a complaint that I've had in the past. And maybe all states feel this complaint. It's hard with Michigan because there's rough weather and I, I'm not going to act like I'm some road scientist. But as someone who pays taxes for the beautiful state of Michigan, I would love to not have this happen to me when I'm driving down the road. And my tires would probably also love it. Are you and Megan going to have kids someday? Yes, we plan on it. I guess you never know if you can have kids until you try to have kids. And we haven't really tried, sincerely, but I'd love to be a father. I already have the hairline for it. How many hot dogs can you eat in one sitting? I'm not sure what my record is. Gun to my head, maybe seven or eight. Comfortably, three. Best reason to come to Michigan in your opinion? Not the roads. Other than the YouTube stars, I would have to say the nature. There's fresh water surrounding the state, beautiful beaches, and there's waterfalls in northern parts of the state. I don't see them, but people tell me they're nice, so I guess the nature, not the roads. Advice for a college student who doesn't know what he wants to do with his life yet. Stop worrying about what you're going to do with your life, first and foremost. It's good to have plans, but a lot of the anxiety about not knowing what you want to do with your life comes from the fact that you cannot plan your life out from age 20 to 80 when you die. You can't see that whole plan. And you're not supposed to see that whole plan. It wouldn't make sense. No human brain is that calculating. And if there is a human brain that calculating, we should fear that person. They are going to take over the world. But you should talk to your counselors. Use the resources of a college. You're paying a lot of money to go there. Talk to your professors. Talk to your counselors. I did not do that enough, and I've seen my brother do that and my wife do that to great success. Talking to counselors and professors to help guide you is the most important thing I feel you can do. Great advice from a college dropout. If you were to branch out into a different genre within YouTube, what would it be? Honestly, I wish I was a hot girl because I would probably hit up that ASMR. That is very searchable, and there's videos literally of just desk fans blowing and they have 50,000 views. I mean, I have to work hard for 20 to 30,000 views and there's desk fans. 
50, 60, 70,000 views for those things. And I guess that has nothing to do with being a hot girl, but normally girls make ASMR videos. I don't know if that's sexist, but I don't know if I would really fit in with the cool ASMR crowd. In terms of things that I could realistically do, I guess it would be opinion type videos, talking type videos, commentaries, and I could just write stuff out and have ideas. It would take a lot more brain power than I used to play my Herp the Derp video games, but I think that's something I could pursue and succeed in. One of the reasons I don't do it is because I don't like having opinions. I That doesn't maybe make sense. I don't know. I, I just don't like being controversial or putting my neck out there. And maybe that's why I don't get as many views as other YouTubers. Let's move on to the next one. Happy birthday. What's your opinion on your receding hairline and why does this affect your current political stance? Well, I mean, if they're not going to put the money into the roads, they should at least put the money into fixing my hairline. You got to fix something, Michigan. What are you spending it on? What Hogwarts house are you in? I want to say Gryffindor because I feel like I'm a great guy, a man with honor, but... I think your boy's a Hufflepuff. If you had to stop watching all MSU athletics or all Michigan pro sports teams for the rest of your life, which would you pick? I would pick to stop watching the pro sports teams because I have a more nostalgic connection to the MSU teams, although that would really reduce the amount of sports I get to watch in a year because the Pistons season lasts a long time and the Lions season lasts for a couple of weeks until it gets really sad. So uh, I would pick MSU sports, but it would be a really difficult choice. Favorite album of 2017. Damn. If you had an upcoming album, what would the album art look like and what would be the title? Damn. What's up with that hairline? That's been 27 questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, follow me on Twitter if you want to connect with me. Follow me on Twitch if you want to watch my live streams. And have a great rest of your day.